practice the entire year. And uh, I've got a lot of people that help me. I, uh, as you probably know, I run a prison dog training program. I have a couple guys there that, actually about three guys that work with me and we practice throwing. We have lots of little competitions there. Because we do the dogs, we train the dogs, and plus some of the dogs that we teach them, along with basic obedience to play the Frisbee. And then I've got a great group of guys around town that go with me to practice. And so, uh, actually, this is just as much almost theirs as mine. Eric and Chris, you know who you are. The prison dog program, what we do is we rescue dogs from uh, animal shelters and various rescue organizations and we get them in and I've worked with the offenders, the inmates, to train them. We train them in basic obedience. Uh, we crate train them, house train them, we teach them to walk properly on leash in the heel position, sit stays, down stays, basic good manners. And then we find them homes with elderly people in the state of Oklahoma as companion animals. Every once in a while we'll get an animal that is a little too hyper and a sports type dog and we try to get in in the hands of somebody to play frisbee, uh, agility or fly ball with it. Man, there's nothing better than getting your dog out and playing with it and bonding with it and doing anything. Any dog sport is just incredible. And if you go and if you rescue that dog from a rescue organization, I just don't, I don't know what to tell you, just makes you feel even better when you come and do something. And it's not just competing, it's also when you go to your family reunion, you're the star of the show playing with your dog, playing frisbee and various things like that. I do numerous demos throughout the year, uh, football games and various uh, canine academies and stuff like that. And that is so much fun. It doesn't matter if your dog's registered or a mutt from the dog pound, it's just as much fun. What you need to do is you need to get on the skyhounds.com website, Hyperflight. You can find it that way too. This dog's a rock. Download that. It's free and you can learn all about this kind of stuff. And any questions you got, you can shoot Peter or Jeff an email. You can ask them. And that is the best way to get involved in this, along with finding somebody that can throw and maybe getting with a local club in your area. Uh, the Skyhounds organization is the best. I mean, they rock. I don't No other way to put it. The, I mean, the, coming here, and compete on a field like this and win the world championship is a dream. So thanks to Skyhounds. Oh, I was hoping to hit the podium. I really was. I was thinking a top three finish this year. So I would have been happy with third or second, to be honest. It's, it's just icing on the cake to get first. I've got a nine and a half year old dog. So that's just incredible to be, be such an athlete as she is at this age. Oh my gosh, I tell you what, I, I was kind of in shock. I really was. I, uh, I didn't even have my dog with me. I had to run back and get my dog. I was in shock. I knew I had a good second round. My DNA wasn't quite as good as I'd hoped for, but my second round was pretty incredible, but I don't know if that's enough to put me over the hump. So I was kind of thinking maybe I got third, and then when I didn't get third, I didn't kind of wonder. But everything worked out, so I'm here. <laughs>